You were right. I was wrong. I voted for Barack Obama because of his race. I believed in the hope and change mantra that Barack Obama was speaking for years and years. And now it's come to rest that I will no longer support Barack Obama for president. I will no longer support his policies. I actually think he may be a Muslim. After all, he supports the Ground Zero Mosque. He'll never admit that he's not an American citizen. He was born in Kenya. I don't understand why Hawaii will never release his birth certificate. And then he's always taking these vacations on our taxpayer dollars while people are looking for jobs and trying to at least have a decent vacation. Barack Obama and his wife and his family are taking vacations to Martha's Vineyard, taking vacations over in Spain on our taxpayer dollars. Then his wife thinks America is a downright mean country. I don't get it. Why are the Obamas so hateful towards white people? You know, when his buddy Skip Gates got arrested by Officer James Crowley, he thought the officer acted stupidly. I guess this is what happens when he gets all this information from Jeremiah Wright when he sits in the Trinity United Church of Christ for 20 years, listening to these anti-American racist statements from a pastor who has no care for America. And then he also has ties to Bill Ayers, a terrorist who bombed the Pentagon and a New York police station. I don't get this. I think he's actually more socialist than I thought. After all, I thought he was just an average guy with two children and a wife, but no, he's a socialist. He bailed out GM and Chrysler on our taxpayer dollars. He's bailed out the banks on our taxpayer dollars, and then he's given us health care reform that's going to fail like it did in Canada and Britain. And then he got the nerve to talk to our children. I don't understand why he wants to talk to our school children. Is he trying to manipulate them to become child soldiers or something? Is he trying to Hitler youth this young mind of millions of American children? I don't get it. He's got kids singing to him. Barack Hussein Obama. Mm, mm, mm. That doesn't make any sense. I'm really getting frustrated. It's always attack Bush, blame Bush. Blame Bush for the sun that doesn't shine. Blame Bush for the rain. Blame Bush for everything that happens in the 20 months you've been in. Get over it. You're the president now. The moment you got in, you should take responsibility. And Joe Biden, for example, he's an idiot. Every time he speaks, he puts his big foot in his mouth. It'd have been better he'd have picked Hillary Clinton. Because Hillary Clinton knew the ropes of Washington. Joe Biden, you should have went back to Delaware, buddy. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You talk too damn much, man. Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid, your failures as well. All these bills you pass, you're driving our debt up, and you're making our country broke. And I'm sick and tired of this hope and change. How's that hope and change working out for you people? You liberals don't understand what's going on with our country. You take your talking points from MSNBC, you take them from CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, you never understand that Fox News is fair and balanced. Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly were right. The Drudge Report is the most trusted website. Screw the Huffington Post. Screw Crooks and Liars. Screw all that. The Daily Caller knows what's going on. World Net Daily, Newsmax, Dick Morris, they all know what's going on with this country. The Republicans are going to take over and it's going to be conservative victory. Oh, I can't put on this charade no more. Ugh. Not to say that all conservatives are bad people, but all these talking points from some of the conservatives makes me believe that they don't have to apologize for being assholes. To all my subscribers, the many friends, and the people who supported my videos, thank you for watching me on YouTube. This is all a farce. I still support President Obama. Although, with this economy being bad, it's driving the conservatives to become unhinged. The Gallup poll has just said that the Republican Party is moving further to the right. And it's been moving to the right ever since Obama announced he was running for president. They were trying to go after Hillary Clinton. When they succeeded in defeating her, they wanted to defeat Obama. And now that he's the president of the United States, they become unglued. They worry about the most trivial things and they're not trying to put their thinking caps on. And this is what drives these extreme comments from some of the commentators on YouTube. I realize that our society is totally stupid when it comes to race, gender, sexuality, 
religion, nationality, economic, political standings. I don't really want to go into this monologue about why conservatives are bad people. They're not all bad people. I don't want to defend all the liberal policies of the president. The president is more centered left than most people think. Sometimes the liberals are not happy with his decisions. But however, the most of the conservatives in the Tea Party movement are really upset with this president. And to think that they want Ron Paul and Sarah Palin. These guys lost. And you think they'll be able to win in 2012? Mike Huckabee probably is the only person I can think of right now to be a serious contender. Even though he may have a talk show, even though he has sidestepped on a killer, the thing here with Mike Huckabee is that he can relate to people. Even I met this guy. Ron Paul, I met him also. I met Obama, Clinton, it's like, we got to get over this hump of ignorance. I know you have the right to complain about President Obama, and you have a right to criticize my videos. But the thing here is that our society can't be like this. You give comfort to the enemy by acting like this. For them to not respect the title of President Obama is insulting enough. You see most of these comments say Obama is this, Obama is that. Instead of saying President Obama, Mr. Obama, Barack Obama, they go around saying Barry Satoro. <laughs> it's funny, man. This is what a conservative America is. So you don't have to apologize for being assholes. It's okay. I understand.